Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm going to show you how to make these miniature plates for your dollhouse out of polymer clay. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you have anything to say, a comment, a question, then leave a comment below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for an extra two to three videos a week from me. Thanks so much, and I hope you enjoy the video. To start off, I looked around my house and just found a variety of household items. I'm using a CD or, or DVD or DVD-R, um, a bottle of spices, some lotion, some paint containers or nail polish, uh, a washer, and some computer keyboard keys. Then I'm going to lay out a small layer of cornstarch and then put down a little piece of clay. Roll it out as flat as I can get it. And I'm using white for all of my uh, plates, but of course if you'd like to go on ahead and do them in other colors, you can. I just decided to use white for the simplicity and then paint everything. And then use the cap from a small bottle to cut out or to imprint shapes. Of course if you have a cutter, use a cutter for this. I actually don't have one here. So I'm just going to use these caps. Now this is just going to imprint the shape, so I'm going to still need to cut it out. Now my clay is very thin here, so I do expect it to tear. And it's no worries if it does, because I can sand off the excess at the end. And my favorite tool to use is this DVD-R. Just lay the clay over it and use your ball tool to um, trace the, in, the inner circle. Then flatten out the edges with your fingers and you want to use a knife to just kind of lift it up a little bit on the sides. You can also use a washer in the same way. the top of a bottle of lotion. You can also make scallops or decorative um, details on the sides of your plates. So I'm using this piece of straw that I've cut off half of it. and just go all the way around the edges. You can also use pieces of jewelry that you can imprint. But you can also look through your jewelry box and find a variety of other things that will give a texture or pattern to your plates. You can even use scraps of lace or fabric. And here I'm using um, Tester's model paint as my guide. And I'm cutting off um, the clay underneath it to fit the sides of the bottle exactly. Then I flipped it over and use the bottom of the bottle to imprint my plate. You can also make a square by cutting one out and using a computer keyboard key. I just pried one off of an old keyboard that I wasn't using anymore and then shape the clay around it. Then I use a pair of tweezers to pull out the keyboard key and bake this plate and all the others. Once baked, 
I just had to refine it a little bit more by going through with an emery board. And then finally, you can paint your plate to saw the color, or you can go on and add a, de a or you can go and add a decorative detail with a fine brush. Don't forget to give them one to three coats of varnish. I actually use three on mine. allow them to dry. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!